Listen, we've got to show you what's happening in Hong Kong right now in Wan Chai District. Look at the fires in the streets as anti-government protesters uh, there are having a standoff with police. Uh, we saw earlier this morning police using water cannons to disperse some of those protesters. Uh, but you can hear the sounds, you can hear the yelling, the screaming, the lights, and now the fires. We do not know exactly what is on fire. Yeah. We just know that it looks as though it's almost a barrier uh, that is across some sort of roadway. Now those green lasers that you're seeing, those are being used by protesters to try to disorient uh, police uh, that are there as well. This is the 13th consecutive weekend that there have been protests, some that have been organized and permitted. This one, as we learned from our Will Ripley there, is not permitted. And this is the hour at which, if things really go haywire, that it happens. 7.30 p.m. there in Hong Kong. These protests started as um, a, a protest of an extradition bill there that was pulled, uh, calling for the, and you see another um, an explosion there. We don't know if that was a, a tear gas bomb or, or not. But also uh, these protesters wanting the resignation of Carrie Lam, the, the chief executive there. We have another angle of this fire so you can see just how close it is to these crowds and the billowing smoke. Uh, overall, what they want is more independence, more autonomy from Beijing. But uh, Will Ripley also reported that there are forces there inside of Be uh, inside Hong Kong. Now, they're inside a building, they're inside, uh, not fighting alongside or with the Hong Kong authorities, but uh, we know that Beijing is watching this very, very closely. Again, fires now burning in the streets of the Wan Chai district of Hong Kong as the protests continue now for a 13th weekend. Yeah, uh, Will Ripley is actually on the scene there. We saw him earlier. He had his gas mask on because we have seen a lot of these reporters at different times of uh, some of these demonstrations. And they were overcome uh, by the tear gas that is being dispersed by police there. Uh, and you can just see how it was, what, it was an hour ago that we talked to Will. Yeah. And the streets weren't even full. So it seems as though darkness fell and everything just amped up. Yeah, this has deteriorated significantly in just the last hour. And he mm -hmm. was telling us, you know, we it's hard to get scale and scope in these situations, right? How big are these crowds? At that point, he told us about a thousand or so protesters. Looks like it's maybe more than that now. But in There's some weekends, more, we've they're seen... More, um, they're more spaced. They're, they're more confined. Yeah, they're in, in more of a, a context. They're in a compact smaller area. space. They're yeah. compacted. Will Ripley there, right near the flames. Will, tell us how this happened and what you're seeing around you. Hey, I'm a couple of blocks away from where I checked in with you last time. Police moved in and were able to disperse that situation pretty quickly. We started walking thinking that things were over, and then we saw this. Approaching it, you think you're walking up to a, a concert or Burning Man. There are laser beams. You can hear, it sounds like thousands of people screaming and cheering behind this barricade of flames that has been set up here in Wan Chai in the heart of Hong Kong. Uh, what protesters have done, they, they, they took uh, the barricades that we saw them setting up earlier, doused them with some kind of uh, propellant, and in fact, we heard a pretty uh, loud boom a short time ago, which is why we're staying a safer distance away from the fire now. Uh, and, and they have now not only blocked down the street through their numbers, which as you mentioned, you know, maybe a few thousand people, not the hundreds of thousands of largely peaceful protesters. These are the radicals out here now. But now they don't even, they're not even blocking the streets with people, they're doing something that had to require them to call in. We've, I saw at least three fire engines roll in here just within the last 10 minutes, and they're still trying to put this thing out. So what we've seen, let's get out of the way here, please, guys. What we've seen uh, yet again is a new and creative way for these Hong Kong protesters, despite the fact that they're small in number, to keep on creating situations that change the game, that escalate the situation here in Hong Kong. And keep in mind, all of this is happening just about three blocks from the China's People's Liberation Army garrison, where thousands of more soldiers are believed to have arrived just this morning. They're staying behind the walls for now, but scenes like this are gonna be broadcast in mainland China to try to make the case that all of the protesters, not just the ones who are out peaceful, uh, the hundreds of thousands, the larger groups who are probably sitting at home tonight watching these images on TV, but, but China's making the case that all of the protesters are the radical ones who are out here doing things like this. But then you talk to the people out at the, at the demonstrations and they say, 
This is to prove a point. This is a fight for the future of Hong Kong. It's, it's Hong Kongers fighting for the right to choose their leaders, a right that they don't have. And mainland China has made clear they will never have. They say they have to have it, and they're going to do anything to get it. And that's what we're seeing play out here right now.